it, it's very important to understand the role of China at the energy level because uh, China is a country which values its uh, energy security. What the Chinese government is doing is to combine a policy where it relies on uh, carbon as well as on fossil fuels and at the same time it is placing emphasis on the energy tradition. And this combination is the key to understand the Chinese energy policy, which leads the Chinese government to collaborate with different actors at the international level, where it is importing natural gas and oil, and with whom it is also collaborating towards energy transition. The Chinese government is interested in strengthening its position in the international system, but this depends on its relations with the United States, which are currently very complicated. So if there is some stability to be injected in that regard, it will be useful for the Chinese government at the geopolitical and the energy level. And the European Union also finds itself in an awkward position because what it tries to do is to reduce its dependency from China. The Critical Minerals Act, for example, is important in that direction because right now China is controlling the most important part of critical minerals. It is a difficult process and the European Union is making steps towards this direction.